Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In my previous videos, I have discussed about universal gates and I have shown how to construct other gates using universal gates. In today's video, I am going to discuss about XOR gate, which is a hybrid type of gate. Let us first know what is an XOR gate. An XOR gate or exclusive OR gate is a digital logic gate with two or more inputs and one output. And the output is true only when odd number of its inputs is true. If all of an XOR gate's inputs are false or if all of its inputs Inputs are true then the output of the XOR gate is false. The symbol of the XOR operation is this a plus sign within a circle. The logic symbol for two input XOR gate is like this where A and B are the inputs and this is the output. Now let us see the boolean expression of an XOR gate and the truth table. We have already seen the logic symbol of an XOR gate and if output is Y then Y is equal to A XOR B and if we expand the expression it is Y is equal to A complement dot b plus a dot p complement now if we put it into a truth table it will be like this where input a and b and output is a x or b input a b 0 0 output 0 input 0 1 output 1 input 1 0 output 1 input 1 1 output is 0 so we can see as per the definition when odd number of inputs are 1 the output is 1 and when both the inputs are 0 the output is 0 and when both the inputs are 1 output is 0 now we will implement this using two ic one is TTL series IC and one is CMOS series IC. The TTL series IC is 74LS86 or 7486IC and the CMOS series IC is CD4070. Both of these are quad 2 input XOR gates that is each of the ICs has 4 independent 2 input XOR gates. Let us see the pinout diagram of both the ICs. This is the pinout diagram. At the left side this is 7486IC and at the right side this is 4070IC. We can see each of the ICs has 4 independent segments of XOR gates inside this for the 7486 IC first segment input pin 1 2 output pin 3 second segment input pin 4 5 output pin 6 third segment input pin 9 10 output pin 8 and fourth segment input pin 12 13 output pin 11 pin number 14 is positive power supply pin and pin number 7 is the negative power supply pin for CD4070 the first segment input pins are 1 2 output pin 3 in second segment input pins 5 6 output pin 4 in third segment input pin 8 9 output pin 10 and in fourth segment input pin 11 input pin 12 13 and output pin 11 the power pins are same pin number 14 for positive power supply and pin number 7 for negative power supply as the first segment of both the ICs are same we will test the XOR gate with the first segment of these two ICs now let us have a look at the circuit diagram this is the circuit diagram we have used the IC 7486 and we are using the first segment of the XOR gates so we have paid the input to input pin number 1 and 2 using these two switches switch A and switch B the other side of the switch is connected to positive power supply and two LEDs are connected LED A and LED B to the switches switch A and switch B. So when we press the switch the input goes high and the LEDs glow and from the output pin pin number 3 another LED is correct another LED is connected this shows the output status whether the output is high or low. Two pull down resistances are used to ground the input pins so that the output does not fluctuate when there is no input that is when the button is not pressed and pin number 14 is connected to positive power supply pin number 7 is connected to negative power supply. The circuit is very simple. Now let us go to the practical demo. These are the two ICs that we are going to use in today's experiment. One is 74HC86, another is CD4070. Both of these are quad 2 input XOR gate ICs and both of these have 14 pins each. We start counting the pins from the left side of the notch here. This is the notch and pin number 1 to pin number 7, pin number 8 to pin number 14. Here also pin number 1 to pin number 7 and pin number 8 to pin number 14. I have already discussed about the pin out and schematic of the IC. Now directly move on to the experiment. Here is the prototype of the circuit that I have built. These two are the input switches and these two are the input status indicator. This is the output status indicator. This LED is connected with this switch and this LED is connected with this switch. So when we press the switches, these LEDs will show the input status and I am not going into much detail about the wiring. I have already discussed that in the circuit. These two are the pull down resistances and this is the current limiting resistance. This is the current limiting resistance. First we will test with the 74HC86 IC. This is the IC and we will now put it on the breadboard. 
So I have put the IC on the breadboard. Now the prototype needs power supply. So we will give 5 volt power supply to this. Here I connect the positive power supply and here is the negative power supply. So you see initially both of these input switches are in off position so there is no input and the input status leds are also not glowing at this moment now we will match it with the truth table of a two input xor gate so 00 is 0 0 1 is 1 10 is 1 and 1 1 is 0 so this ic7486 matches the truth table of a two input xor gate now we will test it with the 4070 ic I am removing this IC. Now I will put the 4070 IC on the breadboard. This time also both the input are 0 now. So output is also 0 now. And if we match it with the truth table 00 is 0, 0 01 is 1, 10 is 1 and 11 is 0. So this IC also satisfies the truth table of a 2 input X or gate. We have tested only one segment, all the other segments work likewise. And now after seeing the demo of a 2 input X or gate, we will now learn about 3 input X or gate. In case of a 3 input X or gate, there are 2 to the power 3 that is 8 possible combinations of inputs. Output will be true only when odd number of its inputs is true. That is when only one input is true or 3 inputs are true, the output will be true. This is the logic symbol of a 3 input X or gate. A, B, C are inputs and Y is the output. So Y is equal to A, X or B, X or C. And if we expand the expression, it will be this. And now let's see the truth table where inputs A, B, C and output Y. when input is 000, output is 0, input 001, output 1, input 010, output 1, input 011, output 0, input 100, output 1, input 101, output 0, input 110, output 0, input 111, output is 1. So we see when the odd number of inputs are 1, the output is 1 and in other cases the output is 0. We will see the practical demo of a 3 input XOR gate but I don't have an IC of 3 input XOR gate. So I will cascade a 2 input XOR gate IC to construct a 3 input XOR gate. This is the schematic. We need 2 segments of the XOR gate IC to construct a 3 input XOR gate. 2 inputs will be fed into one XOR gate and the output from that XOR gate and the input 3 will be fed into another XOR gate to produce the output of a 3 input XOR gate. So we will build the circuit accordingly. Here we are using the same IC 74HC86 and we are using 2 segments of the IC. We have fed 2 inputs from switch A and switch B to the inputs of the first segment of the NAND gate and output from the first segment is then fed into one input of the second segment of the NAND gate and input 3 is fed into the other input of the second segment of the NAND gate. Output from the second segment pin number 6 is then connected with a output status indicator LED that will glow when the output is high and when the output is low the LED will not glow. 3 of the inputs are connected to ground using pull down resistances and 3 LEDs are connected with 3 switches to represent the input status. Now let us see the practical demo. Here we have built the prototype as per the circuit I have already shown. This time 3 input switches A, B and C and 3 input status indicator A, B and C and the output indicator is same. Since we are using 3 inputs we have used 3 pull down resistances and current limiting resistors are same here. We will test it with the IC 7486. This is the 7486 IC that we have already used while testing 2 input XOR gates and we are using the same IC for testing 3 input XOR gate. So we are now putting the IC on the breadboard. I am not going into much detail about the circuit because I have already discussed it. Now we will give the power supply of 5V to this circuit. This is the positive 5V power supply and this is the negative 5V power supply. Initially these 3 input switches are in off position. So the input is 0 or low. Now when we start pressing the switches the input will be high and output will change accordingly. So now we will match it with the truth table of a 3 input XOR gate. 000 is 0. 001 is 1, 010 is 1, 011 is 0, 100 is 1, 101 is 0, 110 is 0, 111 is 1. So in the circuit we can see when the odd number of input is in high status or in on status the output is high or on and when even number of inputs are 1 the output is low. 
So we saw the demo of a 3 input XOR gate using a 2 input XOR gate IC where we use two segments of the XOR gates to build a 3 input XOR gate. So we conclude our experiment here. Application of an XOR gate can be seen in almost every house. If we consider the two-way lighting system of a staircase to be an XOR gate, then we can understand the application easily. Let us consider the bulb is the output of the XOR gate and the switch 1 and switch 2 are the inputs of the XOR gate. When both the switches are in on position or when both the inputs are in off position, the output is low. So the bulb will not glow then. But when any of the switch is turned on from upside or downside, the light will glow and when we press the other side of the switch the light will turn off so this is a simple real life application of an xor gate hope the concept of xor gate is now clear to you if you have any confusion please feel free to ask me in the comments and if you like my videos please hit the like button and if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe my channel rg innovations if you subscribe i'll get more inspiration to post new videos so today up to this in my next video i will show xnor gate till then bye bye take care have a nice time Thank you.